In this video, we're going to look at some more tips and tricks and answer some questions. So the first one is we are going to look at how to do a sweep with a hole in it. Somebody asked me, how do you do that if you want to make a sweep with a hole in it? It's fairly straightforward, so we're going to do that straight away. Make a sweep with a hole in it. So my usual stuff, I'm just going to start file here real quick. And I'm going to start a sketch. And this is the shape that I'm going to sweep. So I'm going to just make a square, rectangle, whatever you want to call it, and put another one inside it. That'll do it. We're going to close that. I'm not going to constrain anything. I'm just going to show you the technique of doing the sweep here. So now what we need to do is we need to create another sketch. And this time we want to do it in the direction that we're going to be sweeping. So that's going to be in that plane. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm just going to draw a line. So I'm going to pick my um, line this way. I'm going to go from the center. We'll go off to the right, just do it like that, that'll be plenty. We're going to close that. And now I'm going to pick the first sketch, and I'm going to say sweep select a sketch along a path. And I'm going to pick this path and say OK. And now if we look in there, we now have a sweep with a hole in it. You can see my hole is actually, uh, when we're around here, you can see it, it flattened the hole out. But you can see there's a hole in there. And of course, you can play with that. You can make it any shape you want. You can make any sweep you like. You can make the sweep less severe than that. So where I swept around there, I made it go... Um, at quite a severe angle, but you can go back and you can change that sketch. So I can pull that up here. Maybe don't sweep it quite so crazy. Go here and here. Maybe we can put a radius in here or something. And then close that you'll see the sweep is less severe there. So again, you can do whatever you want to do for your sweep. I'm just showing you how to make a sweep with a hole in it. And that's basically it. Next part is quickly how to make a, a screw thread. And we're going to do that. We're just going to create a screw thread, an Acme thread, something Acme-ish. And I'm just going to draw. First thing I'm going to draw is my core that my screw thread is going to be on. So I'm just going to draw a piece like that. Say close and I'm going to pad that. Say OK. And then we're going to draw another sketch. And we're going to do it on this plane. Say OK. And now what we're going to do is draw the profile of our thread. And I'm hitting this uh, sectional view so I can see where the thread is sitting. I'm just going to freehand this thread. But obviously, you can look online and you can get the, the dimensions of the thread and how they form and how they look. And you can make that exactly the way you want it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to demonstrate with just a, uh, a rough idea of the thread. We could go on and, and create an exact uh, thread from the thread profile that you can find online. It's very easy to find it online. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to make that helix. And we're going to reverse that because it's not on our piece there. And there you have a thread on a helix. And that thread 
you can do it with the pitch and the height. So if my pitch was five millimeters and the height of my thread is going to be 10 millimeters, Um, or I can do it the whole length of that, I can say 20 millimeters. And there we have a threaded piece. Now that's just, that's the way to do it if you have the thread profile, you want to create the thread profile, and you want to thread it on a piece of bar. But of course, there's other ways to do threads, so I'm going to show you some of those now. So for this one, we're just going to create a pad and then I'm going to show you how to use the fastener workbench just to, to do a thread. So it's pretty straightforward. I'll just do it quickly. You can see what we do. So I'm going to create a sketch, X, Y plane. Uh, I'm going to just draw a square just to put the thread into. The square doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just a piece of something so that we can put a screw thread in it. Gonna make it 20 millimeters long, I think, or thick, I should say. And so there's my block, and all I wanna do is put a screw thread in it. So I'm gonna go to my fasteners workbench. If you don't have the fasteners workbench available in this list, you may have to go over here and use the add-on manager and add that workbench. I can't remember if it's a standard one. I have it in there, so I, I don't know if it's not in there. If I install a new version, it's automatically in there because I have that set up that way. Okay, so here's my uh, screw thread. So it's a tap. The tap can make a, a threaded hole. So we're basically just going to Boolean this threaded piece out of this piece. Now you're saying to yourself, well, that's not a threaded piece. Let's go in here and let's turn on our thread. So I'm now in the M6 by 20 screw thread. I'm just going to go where it says thread false. I'm going to change that to thread true. And I'll tab away from that. And there's my threads. So you can see I actually have threads. Now what I need to do is I need a second body so I can do a Boolean operation. So I'm just going to create a second body inside this part and making sure that this part is active. I'll create the body. And now I have two bodies inside my part. I have body 001 and body. So let's just rename them so you can see what's going on here. So this is going to be my, my block. That's my piece of material. And this one's going to be my thread. So I'm going to rename that to a thread. You don't have to rename it. I'm just doing it so you can keep up. You can see what I'm actually doing. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this M6 screw thread and I'm going to move it onto that thread body. And when I do that, it actually creates a base feature in there. Now that base feature is what we actually want to use to Boolean or to take away from this, this block. Now having both bodies, I can now move this body in relation to this body. So I can move the thread in relation to the block so that it will create a hole. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back to the block. I'm going to double click it to make the block the active body. Then I'm going to just single click the thread. I'm going to go with its placement and its position, and I'm going to move it in the Z axis. I want to move it in plus. So I'm just going to drop it down so that it intersects our body. And of course, you can move it whichever way you want. You can move it in the X and Y, move it over, wherever you're going to go with it. You can do all of that. So I'm just going to leave it right there. I have a little uh, check mark there which means it needs to recalculate so I'm doing that now I'm going to hit this boolean operation I have the block is active okay I'm going to hit the boolean operation and I'm going to add a body and when I add this body it's going to take a little while to think about it before it adds it in and it will add that body in so now I have the thread added in and I have the block and then I'm going to say cut so I'm actually cutting that thread away. There you can see it's cut all the way through it. And I'm going to say OK. And that is how you create a screw thread. Now if you wanted to do the opposite and it was going to be an, an external thread, you'd have a bar and you'd add a die instead of a tap. And that would create that thread. So hopefully you can see it's pretty easy to make these. 
you just have to remember that you need two bodies when you're going to do the boolean. Don't try and do a boolean uh, with just the the base feature or just the the uh, tap or the die. It won't work. You need to put them in a body, and it needs to become a base feature, and then the boolean works pretty well. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up, and if you want to join our Patreon, you can certainly do that. If you want to uh, become a channel member, you can do that. And if not, I will see you in the next video. Oh, one thing, please take a look at our other channel. It's called My Home Loan Mate, my day job. I am a mortgage loan advisor, and I can help you with mortgages. If you are interested in that type of stuff, I have a channel with some videos that explain a lot of things about mortgages. Even if you don't need a mortgage or you're not in a state where I can help you, um, you can certainly look at that and learn a lot about how mortgages are calculated and how you qualify and all that good stuff. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.